Hello, Mario's Web Crap of the Week, Season 3, Episode 43. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome to yet another Web Crap of the Week, the 43rd episode of Season 3. Not long to Christmas, probably round about war 60 sleeps, perhaps, till Christmas. So, uh, yeah, now, this week's been an excellent week for Web, web Crap. Been a steady flow of it. All week and some very good stuff as well. So, yeah, might need to get a little bit of extra popcorn out uh, just to uh, cater for today's possibly an extended episode. But, uh, well, we'll just have to see how the timing goes. Now, Moz took a little bit of um, pity on me last week because I said there was a shortage of crap and sent in some extras for me to put in the bank. But I thought, well, no, you just got to make hay while the sun shines or, um, you know, show crap while it's there. Because it, it just uh, it just keeps coming. There's no stopping it. So uh, I've put all this stuff uh, up there and uh, from the viewers. And, uh, well, we'll just have to see what, it, uh, what happens. So, well, let's uh, head over and see what it is. But first... A word from our sponsor, uh, Christopher Lloyd, um, here. Uh, Chris is, um, well, he's watched uh, Web Crap of the Week into the future and the past and all places in between, and he just loves it. He says, recommends, like and subscribe to uh, Mario's channel and uh, hit the notifications button so that you'll be sure to get your uh, supply of Web Crap um, you know, week in, week out. This is the one. So, all right. Now, here's our, um, here's, well, our cover, cover thumb story here. Now, I saw this picture here and I thought, oh, that's a bit, uh, that's a bit odd, you know, I, but that's pretty unique. But no, there's, there's heaps of the people that want to make motorcycles out of high-heeled shoes. Who would have thought it? But, well, it's it's there. This is this one is not alone. It's not a unique. They are different colours, but there's quite a lot of people that, uh, as I say, make up these um, shoes, motorised shoes. Who would know? Anyway, so let's have a look. The first one up. Regardless of your political persuasions and uh, countries of origin and what have you. Um, I think uh, it's uh, pretty clear that um, something untoward happened at the uh, Saudi consulate. And uh, so there's, someone's come up with this here, which I think is, uh, well, you know, is a, quite a clever idea. So I visited the Saudi conference consulate and all I got was this lousy T-shirt. So, uh, yes, um, I thought that was... Uh, Pretty clever, given the circumstances that have uh, been prevailing in the news this week, if all the rumours and what have you uh, are true, or even if they're just rumours. Um, someone's been uh, quite clever with this, so congratulations to that uh, to that someone. Driver, what am I supposed to do with this speeding ticket? Officer, keep it. When you collect four of them, you get a bicycle. <laughs> Oh, very, very, very good. And uh, while we're on the police theme, uh, knock, knock, knock. Who's there? It's the police. What do you want? Just want to talk. How many of you are there? Four. Then talk to each other. <laughs> talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> yes. Oh, very good. Very good. Very clever thinking. Now, this came up during the week. Um, and uh, well, yes, I uh, I have to read it from my big screen here, so um, just it's, it's a little bit small there. But ever wondered why some do better in your workplace than you? The mathematics of success in the workplace. What makes a hundred percent? What does it mean to give more than a hundred percent? Ever wonder about those people who say they're giving more than a hundred percent? 
We have all been to these meetings where someone wants to give over 100%. How about achieving 103%? What makes up 100% in life? Well, here's a little mathematical formula that might help. So if you take the letters of the alphabet and then you number them up 1 through 26, and you can look at certain words. So you've got their knowledge, and that's 96%. And then you've got hard work, well, that's 98%. But attitude, well, that's, um, what's that, 100% attitude, adding it up. And uh, bullshit, well, that's 103%. And well, um, and ass kissing, add that up, 118%. So one can conclude with mathematical certainty that while hard work and knowledge will get you close and attitude will get you there, it's the bullshit and ass kissing that put you over the top into that uh, 110, 118%. However, in my own uh, unique bent, um, I put in uh, that uh, ZZZZ, of course, would be well over, or ZZZZZ, five Zs, would be well over 130%. So just going to work and sleeping is putting in way more than any of those things, in my world anyway. So moving right along before I totally destroy the joke. Um, Want to get back on your feet? Missed two car payments. <laughs> a bit of a theme here with uh, cars and things like that. So, uh, yeah, very good. Oh, I love this one. This uh, might be my favourite one this week. Um, you see so many of these. The words you see first best describe you. <laughs> Batshit crazy. <laughs> oh, yes. Mm. <laughs> the fact that they're in twice the size of all the others. Oh, I love... Th no, this this one's got to be up there. Hi there. Um, do you know me? I think you're the father of one of my kids. Are you the stripper from the bachelor party that I made love to on the pool table with all my buddies watching while your partners whipped my butt with wet celery? Uh, no, I'm your son's teacher. <laughs> No, I'm your son's teacher. Oh dear. <laughs> I love that one. I think that's quite funny. Being a teacher myself, I sort of understand it a bit. Visual gag. I just like the cleverness of this. And the fact that I've got a lot of gumboots at work and I don't quite know what to do with them, but I don't think my colleagues would appreciate this. <laughs> Clever as it may be. My wife called on her way home after a long day at work and asked me to run some hot water and not to forget the bubbles. <laughs> Hope she'll be happy. She's so sweet. Love her to bits. <laughs> a brave man. Naive man. Yes, too many of those. Of course I'm angry. You just coughed up an orange furball. Last time I checked... We're both grey. <laughs> Ooh, dear. Mm. Here, it is clearly shown that sex is more important than a meal and that watching porn is more important than running for your life. <laughs> yes, mm, not too bad. You've already put up your Christmas tree. That's nothing. I'm already drunk for St. Patrick's Day. March the 17th. I believe. When your child has been difficult after you shower him. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is like, I did laugh out loud when I saw this one. Lol. Looks like Charlie owns Park Place now. <laughs> Dogopoly. Dogopoly. Yeah, it's very clever. I put an orange on my cat and now he looks like an egg. Yeah, you've got to look carefully at that one. Pretty good. I like that one. The eggs are astonishing. It's a caffeine miracle. Now I understand hash browns. Breakfast at epiphanies. Yeah. Yep. Clever pun there. 
Dude, I broke my arm. Can you come over and help me pee? No homo. Oh, shit. Sorry, Grandma. We're sending this to my homie. It's okay. I can help you with that. What? No, Grandma. You have Parkinson's. <laughs> I'd bust a nut. <laughs> We are giving away 10, yes, that's 10, luxury motorhomes. Simply comment gullible, like and share the post to be in with a chance of winning. Good luck. So I thought I'd share this with everyone on Web Crap of the Week. It's 10 of them to be won. Wonderful, wonderful. Just put gullible in the comments below the video. You know the drill. Got to be in to win. Getting ready for Halloween. I'm so cruel. Oh, yes, and it's, what is it today? It's the 27th, so not far to go. Hmm, yeah, so cruel. <laughs> so calculating, saving all those rappers from the Ferrero Rocher. I don't really, wa you don't really wash your hands when you think about it. They wash each other while you stand there looking at them like some kind of creep. Hmm, true. Visual gag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honey, I got out of work early. What are you doing? Waiting for my little love lizard. <laughs> Yes, the chameleon sneaks out the door, blending in with the wallpaper. Got in trouble with the missus, so I had to pack my own lunch. Mm. <laughs> yes, we all have a story about our lunch. Mm. Morgue employee created by mistake while taking a nap. <laughs> I guess two people got fired that day. Yes, it's rather an unusual headline. Hmm. If you say gullible slowly, it sounds like oranges. If you say gullible slowly, it sounds like oranges. Hmm. Oranges. Because of platypus lay both lays eggs and produces milk it's one of the few animals that can make its own custard there fun factoid for you jamie oliver prick with a fork <laughs> yes mm. <laughs> yes you had one job <laughs> Prick with a fork. Well, hmm. visual gag. Yes, the proctologist. Hmm. Adam and Eve, first ones to ignore Apple terms and conditions. <laughs> I wonder what I would look like with a six pack. Ah, that's much better. That's good. That's awesome. Now, from the viewers, from Moz. He sent in six this week. I've put five of them here, and I've used one for Isaac, the kids' page. From the viewers. Milk truck crashed. Looters showed up moments later. <laughs> Looters. Thank you for driving carefully. <laughs> Thank you in advance for driving carefully. Hmm. Best doormat ever. Go away. Come in. Go away. It's very clever. Hmm. This guy's a genius. Yes. I've often wondered about doing that, writing something upside down as my car number plate. Yeah. Reflection. Hmm. Very clever. They thought it was a camera. Now, you, I am a surveyor. I know this situation well. You want to take my photo? And then people will stop 
and won't walk in front of you because they think you're doing something. So now I've got my, I've been practicing this for 40 years. Uh, unfortunately, I don't get out in the streets much to use my gag, but people quite often will try and, you know, as I say, not walk past. And I'll say, oh, God, oh, God, God. Go through, go through, go through. You're not planning to have any more children, are you? No. Mm. <laughs> I find that that's my best, uh, my best one-liner in that situation. <laughs> yes, I will must tell. I will tell a story about Stranger Danger. Okay. And, well, that brings us to Isaac, the kids' page, and Elmo. And uh, there's Isaac. He's got here. You've got some new sunglasses, Isaac, and that you won't take them off, so you don't have to wear mums or dads anymore. So uh, just a little tip here about uh, filling the car up. You know, just just um, yeah, be a bit wary about that. It can have some dire consequences for you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, alrighty. So good luck, and uh, I hope you enjoyed your birthday. And, uh, well, we'll um, perhaps have to catch up with you again next week. So that brings us to the end of Web Crap of the Week. Thanks, everybody, for liking and subscribing, um, pushing the notifications button. Comment below the video. What was your favourite bit of crap this week? Which did you enjoy the most? Uh, if you've got any crap that's come across your desk send it my way morio at morio.com we're happy to accommodate everybody um well most people we do have um we do have some standards but um well it's web crap of the week so they're fairly low but uh we do have standards nonetheless all good so let's call it a day cheers and we'll see you again next week Smash that like button.